Tropic is a young startup that would like and aim to change the world. We are working on doing that by uh, developing gene editing technologies and gene editing based uh, products that are specific for uh, tropical crops like uh, banana and coffee. Tropic Bioscience has decided that you know the John Inner Center was a perfect base for them and so they've now based themselves here and um, they've taken on a number of new people and you know and we're quite excited to be able to work together on these gene editing technologies in different crops. It's very nice to see the technology moving forward towards a commercial product and you know and maybe a product that is, is going to have quite an impact perhaps on food security in the future. So I think it's just yeah for my group it's very nice to actually be able to move some of these technologies um, forward towards commercialization rather than just focusing on the research applications. Lots of reagents are available in the academia, for example, where plasmids are generated or other technologies. They are published. Many of them are not un under uh, patents. However, when uh, the industry asks for reagents from uh, the academia, from a university, the innate response is, I don't know, I'm not sure. And then there are quite um, complicated processes to to get the, this reagent, we do research, um, and so we have access to all of the all of the parts, the components, the bits of the constructs, the things that we need to make this technology work, and we can use them freely for research. But as soon as we start trying to use those with a company, then that's we have a lot more problems because the um, the MTAs associated with a lot of these components they state very specifically that they are for non-commercial research only. So one way to solve that problem is to generate our own reagents, but that takes time and resources. And this is uh, why I'm quite keen the Open MTA to succeed because that will, will definitely help to solve some of the key challenges with reagents. It's mainly it's the components for making the, the DNA constructs that are necessary to make all this gene editing happen in the first place. So I think that's where OpenMTA really comes into this, because that's the very start of the process. Without that, they can't do anything else. And you know, if you don't have those DNA constructs and all the components correctly assembled, then you don't have anything to work with. We, we feel that there is a barrier. We, we don't have the access to biobanks or uh, plasmid collections. And OpenMTA will remove that barrier and will help us to generate promising R&D and innovation and hopefully to change the world.